just wanna, I just wanna see you free, free, free. Oh. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? Hope you guys have had a great week. I know I have. Um, so I'll start off by telling you guys there will not be a video next week. I'm off to Haiti Wednesday morning, bright and early at 4 a.m. So we'll be gone until next Tuesday. So please keep us in your prayers. My sister Tawny, who has her own nonprofit called Third World Missions, is taking a team of us down there. So we're all going Wednesday. So please keep us in your prayers. Um, this week we're going to talk about society. Um, I was just you know, scrolling through Twitter and um, I saw this picture and it was talking about um, this is our society and it was just a picture of what society wants you to be and then what they try and say and contradict and be hypocrites and you know all this stuff and I was just like I'm gonna do a video about that because there is some biblical truths in that as well. Um, so I know that well, I'll just say some of the things that I think we've kind of been brainwashed to think is what's important. Like the way you look or the clothes you wear or your hair or your face. It has to be perfect. You have to have perfect teeth. You have to have them perfectly white, perfectly straight, a great body. Um, you know, just all these things. The best car, the best nails, like the best everything. And that's what our society has taught us. And if you don't, then you're kind of ridiculed for it, which is just ridiculous to me and blows my mind. And um, one of these, one of the photos I was reading was, uh, it was a girl talking and society was like, well, do you have perfect hair? And she said no. And they said, well, do you have perfect teeth? And she said no. And, um, you know, they kept criticizing and criticizing. And at the end, they said, what would you do, commit suicide? And then they said, oh, but she was so beautiful and perfect and just had the best smile and all this stuff because they were trying to act like they weren't the ones who pushed her to that. And I know that's a really serious topic. Um, and I'm not going to go in that route, but I'm just going to, I want to focus and kind of emphasize how sometimes we, we're the ones who ridicule people and who are, we're, we can be hypocritical sometimes, you know, we'll say, oh, looks don't matter, yet all we do is post selfies because we want people to tell us that we look good, or we will criticize the way somebody looks because they don't look good enough, and that's just sad and it's ridiculous and it's not what we're here for. We are here to build people up, we're here to love everyone. It, says in the Bible that without love you're nothing and you don't know God if you don't love because God is love so how can you say I know Jesus I'm a Christian whatever but you're hateful to people and you don't love people um and I want to just speak you know to the girls and and even the guys too because I know guys face um you know just face criticism and you're not buff enough for, you know, this or that. And girls, obviously, we're not the nicest, uh, we're not the nicest, um, what's it, gender, okay? Girls can be really mean. I've faced it. Unfortunately, I've been there. I haven't been nice to people all the time. I'm not perfect. I've had my moments, and I regret them, and I've apologized to people for them. And, um, but I've also experienced it, and it's not fun at all. It sucks. And, um, and... We have no right to tell somebody if they're not skinny enough or not pretty enough, don't have the best hair or the best smile or the best eyelashes or, you know, the strongest muscles or whatever. That's not our job. Everybody's beautiful because God made everyone here, okay? He made them. So when you're criticizing somebody else, you're criticizing God's work. And I can guarantee you he probably doesn't appreciate it because it wasn't just something he threw together. He took his time on all of us. Um, the Bible verse I have is Songs of Songs 4-7. It says, you are altogether beautiful, my darling, beautiful in every way. Um, I, I put some verses on post-it notes and I stuck them on my mirror to remind myself when I'm getting ready that I don't need to add a little extra foundation or a little extra mascara because it, I'm beautiful the way I am. I don't need to try and add all these extra things to get more approval and for people to think I'm even more beautiful because in God's eyes, I am. 
and I don't need to try and please everyone and neither do you guys. You don't have to try and please society. You don't have to try and please this guy or please this girl. You're just, you just need to live for the Lord and when you find true happiness in the Lord, then you're like, I don't even need mascara today, okay? I'm not saying that's me. I'm not, I have, I will say I have my days where I'm like, hey, I don't need makeup today. But then I have days where I'm like, okay, I just need a little bit, you know, just to give myself a confidence booster. And that's something, you know, that we all have to work on. And it's not easy to, to just be fully confident or it, it's not because we do have a mean society. But that's where just... Just trusting in the Lord and letting yourself be filled with His love and His um, acceptance that He has for you and all that. That'll, you know, make it a little bit easier. And um, just surround yourself with people who are going to do that as well. Don't surround yourself with mean people, okay? Because you become the people you hang around. I've said that in a lot of videos. Okay, we even did a video on it. Um, and I will say this. It's not just the non-Christians who are doing this. There are some people who claim to be Christians who love to criticize or be so hateful. And I will say this, that those people who claim to know Jesus and love Jesus, yet are able to be so hateful towards others and criticize and hypocritical and just mean, period, just mean. They don't, they don't truly grasp what Jesus is about then. And you, those people, pray for them. And... You know, maybe you reach out to them or shoot them a Bible verse or, you know, just because once they truly get that God is love and that we are here, it, you know, it says that one of the most important rules is love others, like love your neighbor. That That's it. It's not about to criticize or be mean or be hateful or any of that. So just pray for those people. Because that's all you can really do, and you just kill them with kindness. I know it's kind of cliche a little bit, but it's true. It works. It, nothing gets under someone who is means skin than when, even when they're so hateful to you, you can still put on a smile and mean it and be like, hey, hope you're doing well. I've done that many a times to people who have been awful to me, and sometimes it was a little harder to do than others, but... At the end, I was like, you know what? I'm glad I didn't give them the satisfaction that they've hurt me because I've gotten over it. And it feels really good when you can look at someone who's been awful to you and you can just smile and genuinely be like, I hope you're doing well. And I wish no harm on you. And I actually kind of feel sorry for you that you feel like you have to tear people down. Oh, man. Well, I made this video really long, apparently. So I'm just making up for next week. Um... I appreciate your guys' prayers for our missions trip. I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you in two weeks. So uh, just catch up next week. Go watch all our old videos. Tweet us. Facebook us. The New Different. And me, I'm Colby Cola. So, bye guys. I just wanna, I just wanna see